Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lauren. It's Sunday evening. It has been a very, very busy weekend. We had soccer practice and games. We had park play dates. Um, mommy got a little time at the spa and had a massage this weekend. Josh had a daddy-daughter date with the girls, took them to the Children's Museum, and we've just been running all over all weekend, it seems. But at the same time, now that it's Sunday, we had to get prepped for the busy weeks ahead. So for us, that means restocking on all of our grocery staples and meal planning for the upcoming week. In this video, I'm gonna share with you guys our Costco and Kroger haul, as well as talk through some of our meal ideas for the upcoming week ahead. So I just laid out everything everything I got at Costco. Let's first take a peek at Kroger because I went there first earlier today. And then after the park play date that Lila and I went on with some friends, um, I ran into Costco and just got home with that. So here is what I got at Kroger. I spent right around $120 and I actually spent the same at Costco just now. So just under $250 and this is a really solid haul that'll make lots of different meals combined with the few things I have left in my pantry, fridge, and freezer. So I'm thinking this should last us about two weeks other than maybe needing to run in for some more like fruit and veggie produce and milk by the second week. Starting off with our Kroger haul, I bought four Honeycrisp apples. We're so excited, it's apple season. Um, I only bought four because we do wanna go do some apple picking in our area. The girls love apples. It's one of their favorite after school snacks is we actually make apple nachos which is just thin sliced apples and I drizzle some peanut butter over top and sometimes add a sprinkle of mini chocolate chips. I also have bananas. Nora has been such a banana fiend lately and I just buy them pretty much every time I go to the store and if we have too many, they just pop in the freezer. We use them for smoothies or for baking mini muffins with. I grabbed a whole yellow onion, a red bell pepper. I have some Brussels sprouts to be aside with dinner one night this week. I also have some celery some cherub cherry tomatoes. Um, I also have some frozen baby broccoli, two packages, and a package of some frozen sweet peas. I have two boxes of these Kroger brand fruit and green bars. These are just like the Nutri-Grain bars. Lila loves these to bring with for her morning snack at school. I did grab some baking cocoa. I have a special dessert planned for this weekend. We're gonna be making a Texas sheet cake, so I needed some more cocoa. I almost said not WW friendly, but honestly, everything is WW friendly. That's the whole point of the plan, is changing your habits to figure out how to eat a good balance of foods, making sure you're doing proper portion sizes, and balancing throughout the day with lower point or healthier meals while you also include some splurges here and there. So there really isn't anything that's not WW friendly. As I say that, uh, looking at the bacon, I find that Kroger has some of the best prices on um, like single packs of bacon. I don't use this enough to buy it at Costco. We'll either get it on occasion to do for a weekend breakfast along with like biscuits or eggs, or I actually bought this because we're gonna be doing Doing BLT sandwiches for dinner one night. And two pieces of crisp cooked bacon is only three points on the WW plan. Depending on the brand, there's some wiggle room on that. I needed some more chicken breast in the house. This will probably get used up in like a week and a half over a couple different meals. They also had a great sale today at Kroger. It was $2.99 a pound for this Purdue chicken breast. Um, this was kind of a splurge last minute. They had a really great sale on this choice strip steak pack, the family pack. $12.99 a pound on sale. I have found their steak on sale for closer to $10.99 a pound, and that's like a super screaming deal when I can find it like that at Kroger. But this was a pretty good deal, and this will last us. The girls are not a huge fan of steak. I've tried steak and like shredded steak for Nora and Lila, and it's just not their favorite. I think it's a texture thing. So honestly, it's just Josh and I who will eat this. So we will cook up like steaks one night for dinner, but I usually only eat half of one. These are pretty big. The others you can easily freeze and keep them for another time or use them in some different recipes. Like one of these, I'll probably slice really thin and we'll use it either for fajitas or steak salads or wraps. So for $37.80, I will get at least three meals for Josh and I out of this package. These Horizon low-fat strawberry yogurt pouches, these are so expensive. I don't often buy them for Nora, even though they're the easiest way and cleanest way for her to eat yogurt. But usually a box of four of these can cost you anywhere from like six, seven, eight dollars a piece, depending on the brand. The best buy date is the 13th of October. There is no issue with my children eating these in the next week and a half. 
sometimes they reduce things just because they have excess of them or I find a lot of good deals on their milk products. This is a gallon of whole milk. Nora already got into this because I didn't have it first thing this morning. We were totally out after last night so she had a cup of milk when we got home from the store this morning. But they'll often reduce their milk down because they have a guarantee at Kroger that their milk will be fresh and their dairy products will be fresh for at least 10 days. So as soon as they cross over that 10 day mark, if this has an expiration date of like nine days away, which my one year old will drink more than a gallon of milk in the next nine days, they often reduce it down. So sometimes these are the kinds of things that aren't always on my list, but I always take a peek for them as I'm walking through the store. You never know what you're gonna find. Jumping over for one more find. Today was a day of finds, guys, I'm telling you. These Butoni fresh pasta tortellini packs, they were reduced, they're the family size packs, reduced down to $3.20 each. I got two of them. They're originally around $8. My girls will love these. And the thing is, even though these have a user freeze date by October 14th, so all next week I can make these up one night next week for a family dinner, and then the other package, you can freeze these. So I'll just freeze a pack for later, but I got some savings now on it, so I just went ahead and doubled up. Mm, jumping around here. Um, I got 18 eggs. Um, true Midwest moment. It is fall time. I must have a block of cream cheese on hand at all times for crock pot meals. In addition to the whole milk for Nora, I got myself some unsweetened vanilla almond milk. This is what I use in my coffee, um, along with, I've really been liking the Chobani pumpkin spice coffee creamer. So what I do for my coffee in the mornings when I'm doing my own pumpkin spice latte is I brew a double shot of espresso in my Nespresso maker. If you guys ever have questions about my coffee maker, my espresso maker, I have it linked in my description box. Um, and then I will use a cup of almond milk for one point and two tablespoons of the pumpkin spice creamer. That comes to four points. They're two points a tablespoon on the WW plan. So I have a five point latte. It's one of my favorite things about fall is just like that delicious pumpkin spice latte. So I am willing to spend my points there, make it at home, save a little money, save a few points. And by a few, I mean actually quite a lot. I'm pretty sure a grande pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks comes in at about 13 points. Speaking of choosing what you want to spend your points on, I am making um, steak and some yummy sides for dinner tonight for me and Josh. So there you go. Josh got his Josh Cabernet Sauv <laughs> red wine. Um, one five ounce glass of wine comes in at four points on the WW plan. So again, just leave room in your point budget for the day for that occasional treat. So now that you saw what we got at Kroger, here are our Costco staples. I got a two pack of the Sara Lee Artisano style bakery bread. I got a large package of lettuce. This has six heads of romaine lettuce. We'll be able to use this to top sandwiches and use as salads and in wraps and things like that. So Josh and I do try to have a salad night once a week where we pick out a fun, not your basic salad salad and do that as a dinner. But we love doing a good hearty salad at least one night a week, especially on a weekday night because they're so fast and easy to put together with minimal dishes. I got a little bit of fruit at Kroger, but I also picked up a two pound package of strawberries at Costco a three pound package of red seedless grapes and raspberries for Miss Nora. These are her favorite. I got a two pound block of sharp cheddar cheese. I just shred this myself and use it for all of our recipes. These are some bigger stock up items. I got a six and a half pound package of lean ground beef. The Costco ground beef is really good and it's 88.12 for lean to fat content, which makes it pretty good for WW. It's lean, but it still is enough fat that like it cooks well if you're making something like tacos or burgers where you really feel like you need a little bit of that fat content Content, otherwise it ends up too dry. So I've shown before on the channel what I do with this when we get the large packages of meat, I actually weigh it out into one pound Ish. Obviously, if it's six and a half pounds, I'll have one that's a pound and a half. Um, portions, I put them in freezer gallon Ziploc bags and then use my rolling pin to roll it flat, get all the air out of them, and then that way I can stack them flat in our freezer for storage. They also thaw super quickly when I prep them that way, so I never have to worry about not having taken meat out that morning for dinner that night. This is a two pound package of some herb roasted turkey breast. Lunch meat actually freezes great, so what I'll go ahead and do is I'll split this probably into two portions, two one pound packages because we'll eat one pound this week, pop the other one again in an airtight freezer bag, 
and in the freezer and we'll take it out for next week for sandwiches. This was a new find. This was something on special. It was a total impulse buy, but these are the real good, which I've had um, other kind of enchilada-y things, I think, from this brand and they were really good. These are chicken and pepper jack cheese burritos. Um, these are fresh, they're not frozen, but I think you easily could divide up this package and freeze some. But I thought this would be a great um, replacement for meal prepping lunch some days this week for Josh and I. They pack 37 grams of protein, which is really nice. And they look really tasty. I think they'll taste really good, just quickly heated in the air fryer. Kid staple, more of our Just Bear lightly breaded chicken breast chunks. This is a four pound bag. Always the best price to get this at Costco. I think I paid around $17 for the four pound bag. And last week when I didn't go to Costco and I just ran in quickly and needed some chicken nuggets for the family for the week, cause we use some on salads and we use some for the kid dinners. I bought a one and a half pound package from Kroger for like $11. So definitely a better bang for your buck at Costco. These are delicious. Tastes just like Chick-fil-A when you put them in the air fryer. And this is one of my fall staples from Costco, the Kirkland Signature Chicken Tortilla Soup. You get two large containers of soup in this package. The best buy date is all the way into January for these. So um, I can keep them both in my fridge and then I easily have something ready to go, whether it's a weeknight dinner, just something easy, grab and go. I can just pour it in a bowl for Josh and I, heat it up in the microwave, or if you're making it for the whole family, just pour one of these containers into a pot on the stove top, serve it with some warm tortillas or fresh homemade bread. So tasty and a nice, easy, quick thing to have on hand. It officially hit below a 70 degree high this week in the South. So that means fall has arrived and I am ready for soup and chili season. Bust out my crock pot. I think I'm gonna have more crock pot recipes to share with you guys coming up here in the next week or so. But that is everything I got from Costco and Kroger this weekend. Again, that was about $250 and it should last my family about two weeks with maybe just odds and ends of a couple little things we need by next week. I do also want to do a Trader Joe's haul coming up here soon. The fall items have been out for a while. I just haven't made my way down to one. They're all about 30, 35 minutes from me, but I can't miss Trader Joe's fall season. So I'll have to do a run sometime in the next week or so and pick up some yummy fall themed snacks and staples that we love from Trader Joe's. It's been a while since I've been to one, but don't miss out on those upcoming videos. Make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed today's video and until next time, bye. I hope